Hello, I'm Dr. Juan Salazar, Physician-in-Chief at Connecticut Children's. I'm here to answer some of your questions related to COVID-19. What does it mean that there's a new strain or variant of COVID-19? Researchers have found a slightly different strain of the virus. What that means is that there's small changes in the molecular makeup of the virus that change something called the spike protein. It changes just a little bit. And so it's not exactly the same we had before. It doesn't change anything else. And this is not unusual. Viruses change, especially RNA viruses. But we have to be more cognizant. We have to be more careful. We have to look for it. And that's what that means. What is the B117 variant of COVID-19? B117 is just the denomination to a new, uh, a new change or a small change in the molecular structure of a virus. And so researchers will change the name, will change the, the denomination based on which strain it is. So it's one family with different addresses. And that's, that's what that means. And B117 is just the name that they've given this new strain of the virus. Is the B117 strain of COVID-19 more dangerous? It doesn't appear to be. It's, it appears that the, the, although it's more likely to be passed on from person to person, the likelihood that the new strain will make you sicker is, is not uh, any different than the, than the current strain. So that's the good news. Although it has changed, it is not causing more severe disease. This is an RNA virus. RNA viruses, by definition, mutate. They change frequently. This is not different than any other, other RNA viruses that we've had in the past. The good news, again, is that we have ways to detect it, to make sure that we do genetic testing so we know exactly how the virus is made up. And it's going to be very important from now, from this point forward, to have a lot of surveillance. And that's called molecular surveillance to understand if the virus is changing or not and if we need new vaccines for that virus. Will the COVID-19 vaccine still work against B117 strain? Why? Yes, as far as we know, uh, both the, the existing licensed uh, vaccines under the Emergency Authorization Act, which is the Moderna vaccine and the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine, they both are, uh, are useful for this, uh, this new strain. We'll know more as time goes on, but right now that's the information that we have. Are children more likely to get sick from this new strain of COVID-19? Not really. Uh, again, this is the same as I said before. They, you know, this, this is a new strain, which is more likely to be passed on from person to person but it's not likely to cause more severe disease either in children or adults. Should my family be worried about the new strains of COVID-19? I think what families need to do is be real careful now, uh, independent of whether it's the new strain or the old strain or the current strain. Uh, this is a dangerous virus. You need to be real careful and, and you know, use proper masking uh, at all times, social distancing, avoid large crowds. Uh, you know, there will be time for that, but right now this is not the time to do it. So just be careful as you have been doing it for the last year. When will we get back to normal? We all want that, right? We all want our hugs. We all want to get together again, go to parties, do the normal things that we can do, sports uh, with the kids, etc. cetera. Uh, it's gonna be a while, unfortunately. And until everyone is uh, relatively vaccinated, uh, it, which is probably gonna be sometime in the summer, uh, probably early fall, then I think uh, certainly by Thanksgiving, hopefully sooner, maybe uh, Memorial Day, probably not so much, uh, maybe Labor Day, would be uh, getting back to a, a, a relative sense of normality. So I'm, I'm very hopeful that it's, uh, it's May, June, but more likely it's gonna be September, October.